Hi, welcome to Defortizal. So this is the part number two of the uh, primitive section, which is my polygon primitives. So I will start with the platonic solid. So just clicking on the platonic solid again. Okay. After platonic solid, go to the characteristic bar. Then click on the poly platonic one. Okay. So there are three options that you can change. First is a subdivision. Second is the radius, and third is the spherical inflation. So you can click on the subdivision. Let us say and click on. I am adding one. So this is my subdivision one. Then again, changing the radius. If I change the radius to two, so this is and then spherical inflation. So I change it to two. So this means that my inflation, for example, I change it to three. So this height will increase it as a three. For example, when I change it to one, so it decreases. When I change it to two, then so it increases by two times. Then three times and like this. So this is my uh, platonic uh, solid or platonic uh, primitive. And these are all the properties and how you can change the parameters, let us say, subterranean, radius, and radical inflation. So then you have to select it and then move to the next polygon perimeter, which is my pyramid. So click on the pyramid. So again, go to the menu bar and then click on the poly pyramid one. Okay, so the parameter to change is the side length, subterranean height, and the subterranean depth. So I started with the side height. So let's say my height let's say the height five. Then subdivision height, subdivision these heights will be subdivision. Uh, let's say it is also divided by five. So my height will be subdivided one, two, three, four, five. And the subdivision gap, let us say it is three. So my base shape, my base shape will be if I rotate the body, you can you can see that yes. You can see that my base shape will be one shape, two shape, and three shape. So my shape of the base will be three. Let's say it is one, so it will be one. If it is two, so there will be two shapes of my base shape, and I divided my base shape into two sections. So first section is this one, and second one which is the this one. And the nodal point, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. If I increase it to five. So these are all my uh, nodal points from here till the boundary can be okay. So this is this is the uh, pyramid uh, shape and the pyramid property. Hope you understand the side length, number of sides, and how to increase the subterranean shape. So again, select it and then uh, delete the uh, sections. Then move towards the prism. So click on the prism. Okay, so this is my prism. Okay, click on the poly prism one. Okay, so first you have to change the height. Let's say it is two, so I have to change to three. So this height will be three. Side length, side length I change this to three. So this is the side length which changes number of sides. For example, here it is number of sides are three. So if you change it, for example, I change five. Now the number of sides are five. So one, two, three, four, five sides. So again, it is three sides. First side is this one. Again, I have to rotate the body. So this is the first side, this is the second side, and this is the back side. So these are the sides basically. Okay, so then I have to rotate this and then click on the poly prism. Okay, number of sides, subdivision height. So this height will be subdivided, let us say into five, and again subdivision cap, so the base shape will be capped. So this base shape will be capped three times. Okay, let's move towards the next one, which is my pipe. So this is pipe. So again, you have to go to the poly pipe one. Okay, these are all the values of first. We can change the value of radius. So if I change the value of radius to three, so this is the pipe length. If I change the value of radius to zero point five, so this is my pipe length. Or in case if you I change the value to one point two, this is my pipe length. For the pipe radius, the length will be, uh, for example, my length is 10. So this is the this is the pipe length. Then. Okay. So thickness is 0 0.5. So this thickness is 0 0.5. You can increase or decrease it. For example, if it is 0 0.1, this is a 0 0.1. If it is 0 0.6, this is a 0 0.6, and so on. Subdivision axis also these are the same green lines. I have subdivided into 40. So these lines will be the 40 subdivision height. So I have to divide that into 20. So these are my 20 subdivision height. Now subdivision cap. So in this case, I uh, I uh, added the five. 
So this base will have the five subterranean scale. Okay. So this is all about my poly pipe. So you can you can change different values of from the command window uh, and then move towards the next one, which is my helix. Click on the helix, and this is my helix. And again, you have to click on the poly helix. Okay. First one is the coils. There are basically one, two, three coils. So you can increase the coil. If I increase to five, so there is one, two, three, four, five coils. Now the height. There is two. So I will select the three. Now the height is three. Width. Let's say it is two width. So if it is five, so the width is the five. If it is zero point five, so the width is zero point five. If it is two point five, so this is the shape. Radius is zero point four. If I decreases the radius zero point two, so this is this is the shape. If I increase it in the other case one, so these all the all the coils will overlap. So I will take at zero point two. Now the subterranean axis. So here it is. 15. If I add 15 subterranean coil, for example, I add 100. So these are the subterranean coil. Subterranean cap here is zero. If I add 10, so this is the subterranean cap which is which is added here. Okay, this is all about my poly uh, helix shape. Okay, so let's move towards the next shape. So the next shape is my gear shape. So you have to click on this. And a gear shape will be created. So how to change it? Click on the poly. Poly here now the size. Here are 16 sides. You can change the sides. You can change the radius, internal radius, height, uh, height dimension, uh, gear spacing, gear offset, gear tip, gear middle, twist, and taper. So let's start with the sides. If I increase the side to 24. So my teeth are 24 now. Okay. If I change the radius, so my gear will be a bigger one. If I change the internal radius, this one to 0 0.8. So this is my internal radius increase. Now the height in this case it is one. If I take 0 0.5, 1.5 for so the height increases by 1.5. Five height dimension it is 10. If I increase it 20, so these height dimensions will be increased. Gear spacing here it is 0 0.6. If I increase to one. Okay, if I decrease it, for example, 0 0.2, so this will be the gear space. This is basically gear space from the distance from here to here. For example, it is 0 0.6. Now, this is the gear space here. Okay, now the gear offset. So, the gear offset, if I increase the value 1, so this is the gear offset. So, 0 0.5. So it is the distance from the uh, the top and the bottom. So if it is 0 0.5 and if it is 1, so when there's the one, the height of the height of the specific gear piece increases. Okay. Now the gear tip. So in case it is 0 0.5, if I change this to 1, the tip increases. The tip width increases. As I say, it is 0 0.2, so the tip width decreases. If it is 0 0.3, so this is my tip. Now the gear middle. For example, gear middle is 1.2. If I increase this to 2, so the gear middle will be 2. This gear middle will be. Now the twist. If I added the twist too, so there's a twisting, slight twisting uh, in my in my gear cross section, and then a taper. If it is one, I added five, so five will be larger. So if I add zero point five, so this is my uh, shape. Okay, so just have a look at a new gear shape. In this way, you can you can uh, create multiple gear shapes. Okay, you can can you can create swirl gear, helical gear, and uh, helicon gear. So you can create just creating uh, a simple gear uh, polygon or uh, go to the polygon primitives and then click on the gear and then you can change by using properties to create different type of gears. Then the soccer ball. So soccer ball will be my football like this one. So after clicking this, you can you can change the radius. Let us say it is it changes to two. And if the side length I change this to one, so this is my this is my shape. If I rotate this or rotate in this direction, so this is my shape. Okay. So these are all uh, from from my uh, polygon primitives. So hope you understand each and every point. So polygon primitives are described in two lectures. So you can you can check the first lecture, which is the lecture previous lecture, and this is the uh, second lecture of the polygon primitives. Hope you enjoy. See you in the next lecture.